September 2016, a sea container comes to Delft. It is the final step in presenting a new technology, supplying sustainable heat from the sun throughout the year. Today, some participants of an industrial platform are being informed about the results of the Merits project. So, first of all, this is the first time uh, in the world when this size of installation was really built. As long as you store the salt, the dried salt and the water separately, uh, you will keep this energy in the system, so you will not lose any energy. And here you see the batteries, again shown as, uh, as uh, four units. Future programs have to improve the energy density of the thermochemical material and to lower the price of the vessels. And we can build the system much cheaper as we do it now. But we are not in the reach now of a marketable product. And we want to have the product on the market, then we reach energy savings and CO2 savings. And of course, there is also interest from the press. These eight uh, containers are uh, uh, our long-term uh, heat batteries. The heat is collected in summer um, with the solar collectors which are on top of, uh, of the building and uh, this water vessel serves as a central hub for our system. So this is uh, the control chamber to control the system and those are the, uh, the vessels. So this is the sim building simulation compartment where we simulate uh, a house but then on a smaller scale. Frankly speaking, it was not a very straightforward uh, uh, task. It was, uh, for my colleagues, it was really, really tough. Uh, Even for the researchers themselves, it is a surprise to see the unit here in the Netherlands after working on it in Spain and Poland. It was a very, uh, very nice moment uh, to remember that we finally, uh, from paper, came to a real, uh, uh, a real product. Hey. It's actually working. We did it. That was a beautiful moment. Welcome, iedereen. I am happy to see that you have come to the great numbers today, despite the beautiful weather, or perhaps even thanks to the beautiful weather. Now is the moment to officially present this breakthrough technology during a mini symposium hosted by TNO. That word mini, not mini, from the symposium, that can be all off, for me. And. Well, I like, like to state here that for, for, for us, this is a, a really an, a fantastic project. It's been a very tangible result at the end. And you did an, an outstanding job, and I want to thank you for the, for the effort that you made. So, thank you for introducing me, uh, Huub. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Christoph Hoegaard. I work for TNO. And I've really had the honor, because that is how I see it, to uh, coordinate uh, the uh, seven framework program merits. And uh, I have to say I'm very uh, thankful also for the opportunity to present uh, the demonstrator of merits project uh, because it is something that is uh, a common, uh, let's say, a work of many partners and, and for the uh, work of the last four years. And I'm very, very proud that we can show you today our merits field test demonstration container. This breakthrough technology was finally presented in Delft after a few very exciting years. The most uh, memorable moment in this project, um, I think that was when we started moving from the, the theoretical phase where we draw pictures on papers and do calculations on papers uh, and we started actually to build something. Well, I think that was the moment when we were in Russia when we actually were at the location and really saw the modules being charged. Yeah, it was actually a phone call uh, from one of the TNO colleagues who phoned me when they were working in Poland. That is that well, the first operational test was successful. Yeah, it brought, brought a tear to my eye. Yeah, <laughs> after all those sweaty moments in the workshop, it was it was great to see it actually yeah, coming towards coming to fruition.